Good morning. It's kids story time. Have you told anybody about Jesus this week? Last week, Philip was talking about Jesus to many people in Samaria. And then he was asked to go to the desert. There, he helped a man who was reading the Bible but could not understand it. Do you remember Jesus' disciple Peter? Peter also traveled to cities to tell people about Jesus. When either Philip or Peter prayed for people in Jesus' name, God's power caused miracles to happen. Mm -hmm. Today we are looking at Acts chapter 9. Peter is traveling to Lydda. There he found a man named Aeneas. Aeneas was not able to walk or run. Something terrible had happened to Aeneas eight years ago. He has been paralyzed since then. While Aeneas lay on his bed, he may have wondered. Why did God let terrible things happen to him? He may have felt helpless. And useless. He may have been lonely. When Peter found Aeneas, he prayed. And then he said to him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ heals you. Get up and take care of your mat. Immediately, Aeneas got up. People who lived in Nida and in the next town too saw the wonderful miracle that God had done for Aeneas. Many, many people believed in God because Aeneas was healed. Peter and Aeneas told them about Jesus and how to follow him. A town called Joppa was a bit farther away. It was beside the sea. Dorcas lived in Joppa. And she was a follower of Jesus. Some people said that she had a golden heart. She was always doing good things. She helped people who were sick, or sad, or poor. She always had time for other people. She would make food for busy mothers, sew clothes for her neighbors, or help care for someone who was hurting. But one day, Dorcas became sick. She was not able to get well. When she died, the people of Joppa were very sad. One of her friends remembered that Peter was a few miles away in Lida. She had heard about the miracles that God did through Peter. Let's ask Peter to come here. Two men were sent to Lida to find Peter and ask him to, please come at once. Peter came back to Joppa with the two men. He found Dorcas' friends at her house. And they showed him the clothes that Dorcas had made for them. Peter sent them all out of the room. Then he got down on his knees and prayed. Turning to Dorcas, he said, Dorcas, get up. And she opened her eyes, and then she saw Peter, and she sat up. She was alive. Peter helped her stand up. Then he called her friends and other followers of Jesus to see that God had given Dorcas back to them. This miracle became known all over Joppa. Joppa. And many people believed in God. As you color the puppets today and you retell the stories of these miracles, maybe other people will believe in God too. Telling God's stories also helps us to remember that God can do amazing things. God is awesome. And he's powerful. And he really cares about people. Maybe terrible things have happened to you, like it did for Aeneas or Dorcas. These stories remind us that God can use bad things to help more people know about Jesus. See you next week.